So here's the question for you as you listen to the other person. What makes that person win? What will make them awesome? You know, this is a question. When you think of the worst day, what went wrong that shouldn't have gone wrong? When you think of the best day, what went right that should always go right? These are the values and these are the conversations that you should be having with the person you want something from. You should have it with your boss. You should have it with your product partner. You should have it with your engineer. What makes this other person win? And how could you make them win? You've just spent some time listening to each other. You know, there are some patterns there, I'm going to bet. Is it a day when they finally get to be creative? If it's an engineer, maybe it's a day that they didn't get interrupted 15 times by some designer who wanted something from them. Maybe they just want time to do really good work. Maybe as a designer, you just want time to do really good work. Uh, when the bosses, maybe it's a, when you, they don't have to go back and forth and explain everything 15 times, you know? But by listening to each other, you can really understand what this other person's about. There are times when somebody cannot listen to you no matter what. They literally have their ears folded closed. And that is when they have a prejudice, when they're afraid, and when they're in pain. So what do they think of you as a designer? Uh, do they think you don't understand the business model? You're this pretty little thing that just wants to make prettiness? Do they have a prejudice against you? Can you break that prejudice? Unfortunately, designers are seen as semi-artists, you know? So is this something that you're going to have to overcome before they can see you as a real person? Are they scared? Are they terrified that the boss of the boss is about to cut them out, right? You know, the reality is that um, there's a wonderful book called Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers that I definitely recommend. And it turns out zebras don't get ulcers because they're only scared if a lion is chasing them. We humans can imagine lions. We're scared when we're afraid of our tax bills. We're afraid of what might happen tomorrow. We're afraid of li uh, layoffs. We invent our lions. So the person you're talking to, you have to tame those lions before you can talk to them or wait until they've managed to tame them. Wait till they're calm enough to hear you.